Education is reeling from the advent of ChatGPT, a chatbot which can write documents in academic styles. The bot uses AI to produce text on any topic in any style. Although many of its documents are nowhere near the standard of real academic text, it can sound lifelike enough to mimic a student. Taiwanese high school students are starting to use the bot to write coursework for college applications, and that has left teachers and universities scrambling to crack down on a new avenue for cheating. Type in some keywords and ChatGPT gets to work writing an essay at once. Some Taiwanese high school students are starting to use ChatGPT to write their coursework. It sometimes does a better job than they can. I think we should complete our own coursework because our exams have a second level, an oral examination. The professors will ask you how you produce the report. When I'm writing it, I start by writing a rough draft as a reference. In the personal process and reflection section, you have to include your own ideas. So I always rewrite it again in the end. The high school coursework portfolio is a major component in the new curriculum. It's required by the Ministry of Education for every university application and counts for 20% or more of the students' grades. There have been numerous controversial reports of students paying tutors to write coursework for them. But since the advent of chat GPT, essays, computer code, novels, and even data analysis can all be outsourced to AI. Many high school teachers worry it will distort students' university applications. Chat GPT is something like a sample manufacturer, but it leaves out lots of details. We want young people to get to grips with the applications of technology, not to make inappropriate use of it, but to establish the correct attitude toward its use. That's the goal we tend to have in educational settings. Universities are taking action. Hong Kong University has banned the use of chat GPT or any other AI tool in exams or in homework. National Taiwan University says that next term, it will produce guidelines on the use of chat GPT for students and staff. National Tsinghua University has a special working group looking into AI's impact on teaching and learning. Even if it banned it, it is impossible to completely prevent situations like that. Instead, we must use educational and evaluative tools to monitor students on more levels and help them to grow. Here's a new essay title, The Functional and Dysfunctional Uses of AI in Education. You have one hour, you may begin.